after the Mercury Web Tools. Let's run the demo script and glance at the various components and functionalities of Load Runner. Runner, click Start, All Programs, Mercury Load Runner, and click on the icon Load Runner. At startup, you will see the license information. I am using the trial version of Load Runner wherein I can use the software for 10 days freely. It is highly recommended that you complete the tutorials within 10 days. Click close to proceed. This is the Load Runner started page. There are three sections here. Create and edit scripts which is nothing but the view generator. Run load test which is nothing but the controller. Analyze load test which is nothing but the analyzer. Let's start with view generator. Click on the link create and edit scripts. The virtual user generator is it's loading. This is the startup page. What I'll do is I'll just open a existingly recorded script. To view the script I click on the button script. Here I see the script being recorded. These are the various steps that are recorded in the script. So any transaction that you do on your application under test is recorded here. And this is the virtual user generator. Second, to run the load test or to start the controller, click on the link run load test. Select the various scripts you want to include in your load runner scenario. I'll select the script which is name basic underscore script. Click OK. There are two sections in controller, the design section and the run section. Let's look at the design section first. The design section is the one in which you set up the runtime settings. I can specify the number of users I want to access the system. Right now the default is 10. I'll make it say 8. Correspondingly I see a change in the load preview. Uh, I can also mention the machine on which I want to run the load scenario. There are many other features here ramping up, ramp down and so on. We'll stick to a very basic scenario. Click start scenario. The scenario will start running. There are various performance metrices which could be measured here. They would be captured during the run. Here you can see the status of the various virtual user generators. The script is run and passed. Now I have an option here. I can save the results, switch back to the third link, analyze load test and open the results there or directly in the controller section I can go to results, analyze results. The analyzer is launched. which gives me a summary of the various transactions and their response times and a plethora of graphs. So this is a very quick preview of Load Runner.